quite a sustained pod of dolphins going past my home in Māori Garden Bay, Rakino Island, the Hauraki Gulf of New Zealand. If you just look above the fringing reef down in front of the house, you can see them breaking water. Those islands in the distance are the noises. The bigger of the, of the group on the right-hand side is Maria Island. And the sun is rising over the Moehau Mountain on the Coromandel Peninsula. My mate Professor Guy McPherson and I will be touring New Zealand in November talking about the sixth great extinction and the acidification of our oceans. In the Paleocene, Ecocene, Thermal Maximum, one of the main drivers and indicators of the extinction event was the ocean acidifying. Those dolphins in front of us today are swimming through an acidifying ocean. Humans have pumped billions of tonnes of carbon into the atmosphere in a couple of hundred years and it's having a catastrophic effect on the energy balance of this planet. Guy will be interviewed on the Paul Henry Show on TV3. We'll be speaking at Unitech in Auckland and then we'll be touring the country. I've created a Facebook event for the tour. Guy McPherson's Abrupt Climate Change Tour 2016. Anyone can join in from anywhere around the world because we'll be live streaming some of the events and we'll be uploading event videos to YouTube. Yeah, this pod's been going on for about half an hour. So originally I thought there was only a few in it, but I would say there's been in excess of 50 dolphins go past the house this morning. Pretty damn cool. I wonder what they think when they look up here and see us humans motoring around on boats above them, pumping hydrocarbons into their water, decimating the planet's fish stocks, turning their back on on the carbon crisis that we're patently facing. I posted an article on Facebook today, I'll put it in the comment section of this video, about the British government appointing, um, shutting down their climate change department and putting the whole department in the hands of the Ministry of Business Affairs. For fuck's sake. Who thinks that's going to do anything about the climate catastrophe that is unfolding? We've completely and utterly turned our back on this crisis. Not only will future generations be filthy on us, but every other species on this planet. We're losing 150 to 200, to 200 species every single day. How the hell do people think that sooner or later our name isn't going to be on that list? Well, I'm telling you now, our name is on the list and it'll happen much, much sooner than anybody thinks. Our biosphere is unravelling exponentially. And on that note, have a lovely day.